The last compounds we're going to talk about naming and writing formulas for is are acids. But the first thing I want to talk about is how to recognize an acid in a base. Base is pretty easy because it's just going to include the polyatomic ion hydroxide, OH-. So whenever you see a hydroxide ion, you're going to have a base. Acids, on the other hand, are going to have hydrogen at the start of their formula. So, for example, HCl would be an acid because it starts with a hydrogen. Another way to recognize you have an acid is whenever you see acid in the name. The way you name and write formulas for bases is the exact same way that we name and write formulas for ionic compounds with polyatomic ions. That's actually in another video you can check out here on my YouTube channel. Right now, though, we're going to focus on how to name and write formulas for acids. So we have three general rules for naming acids, and they all deal with the suffix on the anion. So here, we have three suffixes that we usually find. We have ide, id, ate, and ite. Now, ate and ite are generally on polyatomic ions. Ide is generally on monatomic ions. So when you see ide, you're going to use the rule that you use the prefix hydro. You're going to replace ide with the suffix ic and add acid at the end of the name. For eight, we are not going to use hydro. So hydro is only for ide. So no hydro with 8. But we are going to change 8 to ick as the suffix and add acid at the name, end of the name. Ite, we're also not going to use hydro. So no hydro with ite. But we're going to change ite to O-U-S, us, and add acid at the end of that name. So here we have an acid, we can see that because it starts off with hydrogen, with the anion chloride. So Cl here would be chloride. So because we have IDE at the end of our name, we are going to change IDE to ic and add hydro as a prefix. So your name becomes hydrochloric acid. In this example, we have nitrate as our anion. So nitrate ends in A-T-E. So our 8 changes to ick and we add acid. So we get nitric acid as the name. For this example, NO2 is our anion, nitrite. I changes to OUS, and you add acid at the end of the name. So you get nitrous acid. When you are writing formulas from acid names, you have to identify the anion it comes from. So here, I can identify ic acid and hydro that comes from the rule for IDE as the suffix. So brom, if I add the IDE in there, I get bromide. Bromide is in group 7, so it's Br with a negative 1 oxidation state. So hydrogen, in this case, has a plus 1 oxidation state. So, because I have a plus 1 and minus 1, I need one of each to have a neutral compound. My formula becomes HBr. Sulfuric acid, on the other hand, ic acid, comes from the rule 8. So, I end up getting sulfate as my anion. Sulfate is SO4. 2 minus, so because I have a 2 minus here, and hydrogen has a plus 1 oxidation state, I need 2 hydrogen to balance out with my 
by one sulfate. So H2SO4 is the formula for sulfuric acid. With sulfurous acid, we have OUS and acid, which comes from the rule for ite. So sulfite is going to be my anion, which is SO3 to minus. So again, because I have 2 minus in charge, I need 2 hydrogens to balance out with that. So sulfurous acid has a formula of H2SO3.